हेलो 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 मेरे प्यारे बच्चों हाउ आई यू ऑल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग फैंटास्टिक एंजॉइंग द वेदर आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस अमेजिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ फिजिक्स वाला विद आर सुपर थर्टी बैच एंड अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर बेस्ड ऑन इमेजेस एंड मैप्स दिस इज वन लेक्चर विच स्टूडेंट्स रिक्वेस्ट ऑन अ हाई एंड लार्ज स्केल मैम वी नीड क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन इमेजेस वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल कम बेस्ड ऑन इमेजेस एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल कम बेस्ड ऑन मैप सो वी हैव गॉट some fantastic questions lined up for you so that you can prepare yourself for your board exams in the best way possible and complete the social science syllabus in a way that will give you a guarantee of 100% marks right but aur koi doubt hai to fir vibha ma'am hai hi sahi aapke sath mein chaliye so let us start our today's lecture with mcqs we are going to have mcqs because it will be asked in the mcqs only so that uh, you will be presented with a picture or a map and questions will be there based on that picture or the map so let's start with this first one this is a picture made by frederick soro in it's given in the chapter the rise of nationalism in europe let's look at the question which element is uh in this picture resembles fraternity or brotherhood fraternity or brotherhood this was a utopian image created by mr frederick soro and in this image he tried to create a imaginary europe where everybody were identified as nations and they were moving towards the statue of liberty Pa moving past it as a symbol by paying homage to the statue of liberty and as a symbol that yes it recognizes that we are now liberal we are now free right so many things are represented here we have the statue of liberty we have peoples grouped as nations christ and angels shattered remains of monarchy we can take them one by one the statue of liberty obviously stands for the concept of liberty that is freedom people grouped as nation this was actually the utopian utopian concept why utopian because this had not happened yet people were still identified on the basis of their monarchs or king they were not republics they were not free nations but yet because you are a painter you can imagine and then uh, put it in the colors he he is try to depict people identified by nation Christ and angels in the sky there are there is Christ at the center Jesus Christ and there are angels flying around which is a symbol of brother brotherhood and fraternity they are giving us blessings that you uh, should move ahead towards this concept of liberty towards this concept of forming a nation uh, with our blessings the last is shattered remains of remains of the monarch at the base of the painting the shattered remains was symbolic as an expression that we are not going to continue with the traditional conventional manners of rules we are going to break them and we are going to move towards a new form of government right germania which is the uh, allegory for germany wears the crown of which leaves oak leaves olive leaves maple leaves ya banana leaves well banana leaves crown would be quite big right so they wear a crown made up of oak leaves oak uh, crown was seen as the symbol of highest uh, respect you could bestow on somebody when the olympics started initially in greece they were not given gold or silver medals they were used to be awarded with these crowns made up of oak leaves which was the highest honor one could give so the uh, germania allegory of germania also wears a crown of oak leaves this street address belongs to which country interesting ha huh? it is written in two set of plates in two different languages belgium sri lanka luxembourg yeah none of the above so luxembourg and none of the above so we can eliminate very easily a uh, doubt will come between belgium and sri lanka where we saw a tussle a uh, conflict between two languages uh, people belonging to two la languages who were fighting against each other in sri lanka the languages were uh, sinhala and tamil i don't see anything written in tamil here because that would be easily recognized by us so by elimination we can simply put up our option a as the 
answer so it is belgium half of it is written in dutch and the half of it it is written in french okay another picture from nationalism in europe rays of the rising sun as you can see behind also when there is a picture of germania standing uh, there are uh, rays of the rising sun glowing from behind the allegory so rays of the rising sun is a symbol of the beginning of a new dynasty era war or treaty it is the uh, sign of the beginning of a new era we are uh, breaking away from the old form of rule we are moving into a new time a new era where we will have power in our own hand we will have more freedom more liberty right so option b is our answer here which empire is being celebrated here this image is in the rise of nationalism in europe at the very end of the chapter where we have uh, the heading of the balkan disputes right rise of imperialism and the balkan dispute as you can see in this image there are many uh, drawings on the corners and at the center there is a ball which is kind of which is a globe and there is somebody sitting on the globe with a uh, spear right with a three headed spear this if you can see clearly if you uh, you can go through your books as well this is britannia not the biscuit not the biscuit it is the symbol of the british empire and what you are seeing here are images of all the territories over which they had control they had conquered by this time as you can see there is a elephant and you know indian people people looking like indians who are uh, mentioned here and not just india all the other parts of the world where britain had expanded its imperial rule so answer is british empire and this lady sitting on the globe is uh, britannia what does the cartoon uh represent this is a cartoon from the chapter power sharing where we saw a tussle between two uh nations which were struggling with their own language differences right so this cartoon actually uh is a, a concept from germany when you have power when you have authority to run the nation but it is divided into two uh political authorities or political associations so what does this cartoon represent problems of running a coalition government problems in sale of a car problems of instability in government directionless government so basically this is a problem of running a coalition government what is a coalition government a coalition government is a government when two or more political parties come together to form a government now what will be the problem with this car when you have bought this car and you are trying to drive this car what will be the problem with this car you cannot drive this car because one person will be sitting as a driver here another person will be sitting as a driver here and both of them will want to drive the car in the direction they like they want but until unless the two of the drivers the two of the steering wheels are coordinated the car will not move because one would want to go there and one would want to go here and the car will not move so to run a coalition government you need to have harmony between all the coalition members if there is no harmony there is no peace there is no balancing between the uh, members of the coalition the car will not run the government will not function right so option a is our answer the encircled area comes under which region the circled area comes under which region brussels walloon flemish yeah german speaking it is option a brussels which is the capital of belgium where 80 percent population was french speaking and 20% population was 
Dutch speaking, which posed a problem for the majority in the rest of the country that was Dutch speaking, right? Okay, another question from this image. What was the significance of broken chains? Where are the broken chains? Here are the broken chains, right? What is the significance of the broken chain? Being freed, heroism, readiness to fight, willingness to make peace. So I can uh, put this here. Willingness to make peace is through this olive branch. Olive to offer an olive branch is willingness to make peace peace so the olive branch is the symbol of willingness to make peace readiness to fight i am ready to fight if you want to fight if you want a war i am ready to fight so for to fight i won't need a branch of olive i would need a sword so the sword represents readiness to fight but if you want peace i am okay with peace as well so the olive branch is for making peace heroism the shield that i am wearing the breastplate is a symbol of my heroism and being freed is represented by the broken chains that we are breaking the shackles we are breaking the chains of the old uh, manner of ruling and we are moving into a new era who is being criticized here this image is uh, from nationalism in europe and what is shown here Napoleon's army, who is criticized here, Napoleon's army, Napoleon's officials, Napoleon's subjects here, Napoleon's code. Actually, uh, these are Napoleon's members of the Napoleon's army, which you can see here, who are in uh, uniforms, blue and red uniforms. These are the people who were seen as the harbingers of harmony because Napoleon had conquered France and was uh, you know, implementing good changes. People were very fond of Napoleon by this time. People wanted that uh, Napoleon should come to their areas as well. Napoleon should come and conquer their territories as well so that they can also enjoy the rights which Napoleon has granted in France. Like removal of feudalism, uh, privileges by birth were also removed, uh, weights and measures were uh, you know, re-studied and evenized many changes were brought in the system in the society in the economy which people saw as revolutionary and people were kind of uh, become a fan of napoleon so they wanted the napoleonic army to come and conquer their territories but unfortunately the napoleonic army had other thoughts when people started welcoming them the napoleonic army thought that they could take benefit of those people so they started looting those people they started you know taking away their women their property stealing money grains from them so people kind of got confused that napoleon on one side is saying that i want to give you this 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 and this and the napoleonic army is doing uh, something entirely different so people were not happy with what the napoleonic army was doing so this is a criticism of the napoleonic army which act are we talking about here and when did it when was it implemented you have the right to work under ega employment guarantee act you have the right to 100 days employment in a year for each family within 5 kilometers of your residence, within 15 days of your application on local development project. What project, what wage employment project gives you a 100 days guaranteed uh, employment? The Minimum Wages Act 1948, Vocational Training Act 1963, Payment of Wages Act. 1936, yeah, MGNREGA, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act 2005. So it is MG Narega, which gives us a guarantee of 100 days employment. Once registered, one member from a family can register their name into uh, the Narega, MG Narega concept and once registered you will be guaranteed an employment of 100 days in a year if the project does not start still you have uh, you will receive a payment if the project gets finished in say 60 days only still you will receive a payment of 100 days so it gives you a guarantee of 100 days wages 
राइट सो दिस इज एम जी नरेगा टू थाउजेंड फाइव महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी एक्ट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द नाइनटीन सेंचुरी द फ्रेंच आर्टिस्ट सिंबलाइज द फ्रेंच नेशन एज देर वॉज अ ट्रेंड ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग योर नेशन एज अ फीमेल एलिगरी वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ जर्मेनिया वी हैव कम अक्रॉस द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ब्रिटानिया फ्रॉम ब्रिटेन now we have the french allegory that is marianne right so what was uh, the symbol for marianne a popular christian name for women marianne a famous female figure in france as a female named marianne with characteristics of liberty a red cap a broken chain and the republic the red cap tricolor and the cockade all of the above so uh, we can say that a female named marianne with characteristics of liberty equality fraternity who was represented as somebody who was wearing the french colors white blue and uh, red who was wearing a red cap which was a symbol of the slave and with broken chains in her feet which was a sign of getting freed so option c will be our answer the purpose behind the painting of the massacre of kios this is in nationalism in europe by eugene delcroix in 1824 was this was when we were studying romanticism this was a image given in romanticism part of the chapter romanticism right romanticism is when you try to express your views not by writing them in words but by representing them through medium of arts you can write a poem you can write a song you can create a painting so this is a painting which was depicting how uh, the turks were attacking on the greeks to appeal the emotions of the spectators and create sympathy for the greeks to dramatize the incident in 20000 greeks were killed in which 20000 greeks were killed to focus on the suffering of women and children yeah all of the above so it's kind of showing everything when you look at the picture you can see that the greeks were on the ground they were barely dressed they were looking in a very pathetic situation on the other hand those who were the uh, attackers you can see that they are sitting on horses they have that cruel look on their faces and they are uh, looking like they are going to harm these people so all of the above will be our answer here who is this man holding the boot who is this man a version of this picture is given in the chapter as well victor emmanuel the uh, second nationalism in europe only joseph garibaldi cava or joseph mazzini as you can see here in this image he is holding a boot upside down and the name written on the boot is italy point 1 point 2 uh something like a scorpion is falling out from the boot when something crawls inside a boot or inside a shoe they are usually at the very base of the boot so that you know they can find space to crawl and hide right so when you uh shake it try to take it out this scorpion is coming from the very base of the tree now let's uh make the shoe straight this is what somehow the map of italy looks like and in the southern part of italy who ruled at this time the spanish bourbon dynasty and it was joseph garibaldi with his voluntary army of peasants and farmers which was named as red shirt who was the main protagonist main leader who removed them from this part so it was garibaldi with the help of his voluntary army named as red shirts 
what was the name of region who wanted to be declared as independent country this is the map of sri lanka and the tamilians wanted a separate part of the nation because the sinhalas were absolutely neglecting their demands so they wanted a separate living space what was it called tigers elam tamil elam ltte or tamil nadu they wanted tamil elam they wanted the tamil elam this part of the country was demanded to be separated and identified as tamil elam identify the leader shown in the cartoon here this leader they are asking the question is for this leader who is this person i'm sure that's quite easy uh, mrs indira gandhi mrs sushma swaraj sarojini naidu ji or lata mangeshkar ji the answer is simple mrs indira gandhi ji who uh, acted as a prime minister for our country and for a very long time she had all the control in her hands she made sure that the states were not powerful in a comparison to the center and here as we can see in this cartoon the states are standing the chief ministers of the state are standing as beggars with a bowl in their hand and they are at the mercy of the prime minister if the prime minister will, will is willing to give them some power then it's okay if not then they have to just continue begging so it was it is kind of a depiction of an absolute power of an absolute prime minister who has a majority in the lok sabha identify the leader shown in the cartoon so in the previous we had indira gandhi ji and who is this person who is this person again sitting on the position of the prime minister but looking quite nervous okay mahatma gandhi ji rahul gandhi ji narendra modi ji atal bihari vajpayee ji the answer is atal bihari vajpayee ji why is he sweating why is he looking like he is in tension why is he not as confident or looking as haughty as uh, indira gandhi ji was shown in the previous picture as you can see that he is not running an absolute majority government he is running what he is running a coalition government so when you are running a coalition government you have to make sure that all the members of your coalition are cordial are with you agree with you and are happy by the decisions you are taking if anything happens they may snatch away their support and your government will fall so that's why mr prime minister here is sitting in so much of tension that i am running a coalition government and if anybody feels like they don't want to be a part of this coalition anymore this will push them this will force them to let go of the government the government will fall by whom was the first image of bharat mata painted this is the first image of bharat mata it was painted by rabindranath tagore abhinendranath tagore ravi varma ya nandalal bose the answer here is abhinendranath tagore this is important it is asked a lot of times in the exam right the answer is abhinendranath tagore the picture shows boycott of as you can see there is a big uh, spinning wheel so obviously we are boycotting cloth but which cloth cotton cloth foreign cloth silk cloth or none of the above we are boycotting the foreign cloth non cooperation okay look at the timeline chart identify the major event of the indian national movement that took place here in 1916 there is gandhi ji who traveled to champaran 17 uh he traveled to kheda 17 again ahmedabad and in 1919 something happened dash act was passed by british government which act was passed by british government erwin rollet impact or salt it was rollet act which gave the british an absolute power to arrest anybody they deem suspicious they can arrest this person they can put them in jail and leave them there for a span of 2 years without any trial 
right okay next the flag design in swadeshi movement was made up of these two flags were designed during the swadeshi movement and obviously we can see that it was a depiction of the emotions of that time the sun and the moon a representation of the major uh, two major religions in the country vande matram obviously uh, it's for the nation the eight lotuses were a symbol of the provinces the charkha the spinning wheel was a symbol of our self reliance hence uh, what kind of cloth would you use to create these flags cotton cloth foreign cloth silk cloth or none of the above you would use cotton cloth or khadi cloth dash in bombay during the quit india movement children's procession women's procession religious procession or none of the above so majorly as you can see in the center the participant are all wearing sarees they are all wearing khadi sarees so it was a women's procession during the quit india movement women were a major participant in the non cooperation and in quit india movement they realized the strength that they don't just have to stay back at home and take care of the kids they can move out of their houses participate in the movement and uh, give their share of uh, struggle to the independence next question how bharat mata portrayed uh, how is bharat mata portrayed in the picture look at the picture and let's look at the option as an ascetic sadhu types divine spiritual or all of the above so she is uh, expressed in all of the images all of the words she is represented as an ascetic figure somebody with a spiritual uh, divinity somebody with a connection to the super power but this image could not become very popular because it kind of represented just one religion it represented just a hindu version of the uh, bharat mata which was not fair because we are a com com combination of different religions right so because it kind of inclined towards one religion this image could not become that popular okay what is being talked about in this cartoon this is a businessman barlusconi is the name italian businessman and he is wearing a scarf holding fork and he is trying to manipulate what he is trying to manipulate the politicians so what does it depict functions of political party reforms in political parties role of leaders in political parties or challenges to the political parties it represents challenges to the political parties that when people with money or muscle power have their hands in the politics so deep that they manipulate they try and change the decisions of the political parties which may not be as beneficial for the lo local or the common people okay now map based questions which place is the largest producer of rubber we have got the map we have got options here andaman meghalaya kerala or tamil nadu uh, the answer is this option c kerala is the largest producer of rubber in our country mark the incorrect one bihar movement of indigo planters this is bihar movement of indigo planters happened in champaran correct gujarat peasant satyagraha in kheda gujarat cotton mill worker satyagraha in ahmedabad this is wrong this becomes wrong this is punjab jallianwala bag and this is ahmedabad
सो ऑप्शन थ्री एंड फोर आर बोथ मार्क्ड रॉन्ग वेर इज मीनम बक्कम एयरपोर्ट लोकेटेड ए बी सी डी कोलकाता चेन्नई दिल्ली और हैदराबाद दिस इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग वन बिकॉज इधर यू नो इट और यू डोंट नो इट जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट यू मग अप द इम्पॉर्टेंट इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट द मीनम बक्कम एयरपोर्ट इज इन चेन्नई चेन्नई इज इन तमिलनाडु राइट इन विच स्टेट कांडला पोर्ट इज लोकेटेड कांडला पोर्ट ए बी सी डी तमिलनाडु Let me change the option. Andhra Pradesh. No, it's Odisha. No. The option given is Odisha. Odisha. Kerala. और डी गुजरात कांडला पोर्ट इज सिचुएटेड इन ऑप्शन डी गुजरात दिस इज अ रिलेटिवली सिंपल वन आइडेंटिफाई द प्लेस ड्यू टू विच एनसीएम वाज कॉल्ड ऑफ एनसीएम वाज कॉल्ड ऑफ द नॉन कोऑपरेशन मूवमेंट वाज कॉल्ड ऑफ आफ्टर द इवेंट ऑफ चौरी चौरा it was called off after the event of chori chora now the question is where is chori chora situated okay so option b is our answer chori chora where uh, indian police locked up in their police station and that police station was set on fire by a procession which was supposedly a part of the non cooperation movement identify this state now this is a simple one this can be asked and one because you are in class 10th you should know which state is situated where so this green part what is this state उत्तराखंड हिमाचल प्रदेश जम्मू और हरियाणा दिस इज हिमाचल प्रदेश दिस इज हिमाचल प्रदेश आइडेंटिफाई द स्टेट वेर रेड सॉइल इज फाउंड इफ यू हैव टू मार्क द रेड सॉइल इट इज ऑन देस्टर्न एज ऑफ द कंट्री दिस इज द पार्ट वेर वी फाइंड मेजोरिटी red soil in our country so let's see which option matches with this location maharashtra rajasthan gujarat or telangana so telangana is situated here and it automatically becomes our answer where is kochi sea port located another one which you will have to learn mug up because either these are simple marks either you know the location or you don't know the location it's like a very quick one mark give or take right tamil nadu kerala andhra pradesh or karnataka tamil nadu kerala andhra pradesh or karnataka the answer kochi is in kerala option b right bhakra nangal dam is situated on the river it is situated here on the river this is bhakra nagal location of the dam is also asked so just make sure that you learn both the river name is satluj right where is hyderabad software technology park located hyderabad software technology park located you have to just point out where is hyderabad on the map again either you know it or you don't know it so just make sure that you uh, practice the map and you secure your five marks compulsorily andhra pradesh tamil nadu karnataka or telangana it is in telangana in which state the deepest land locked port 
is located Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala or Gujarat. The deepest landlocked port is Vishakhapatnam. It is in Andhra Pradesh. Option B is our answer. Identify the incorrectly marked thermal power plant. You will have to make sure that you know where this power plant, thermal power plant and especially the nuclear power plants. They are asked quite frequently and they are not that much in number so you will have to learn them. Right? Namroop, Korba, Singroli, uh, Ramagundam. So, Namroop, Korba, Singroli, Ramagundam. Namroop is incorrectly marked. This is the correct location in Assam, on the borders of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. Next question. Which nuclear plant is situated in Tamil Nadu, Narora, Kakrapara, Tarapur, ya Kalpakkam. Kalpakkam is situated in Tamil Nadu. You don't have to mark exactly on the spot. If you pick the right state, then also you will get D marks, right? So just make sure that you are uh, around. The same point, just don't stray too far away from the location. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our today's lecture. I hope you had good practice for your map based and image based questions. We can, uh, we'll have to you know, buy a empty map book and start practicing on that map book. Then only you'll be 100% sure that you know where the location of every place is, right? So for that, you have to sit at home, practice, work a little harder. And Vibha Ma'am is there to help you out at every step, right? So strive to be the best and stay super. Thank you so much, Bacho. Bye-bye.